Welcome to Martinez Design. This is continuation of our tutorial on hotel design in Revit 2023. In this particular design, we want to bring out the concept of the elevation of this. And how do we do that? We are going to start by first of all moving this particular building project. So how do we do and how we work upon that? This is how to do it. The first thing we need to do is that we delete the level two levels to bring it. So if you are just joining us for the first time in this tutorial, kindly subscribe to our channel and same time like and comment. Whatsoever you do, we always treat it likewise. So if you have any requests, you can send it to us by comments. We we'll work on it. So start going to elevations, go to level six. From the level six, we don't want this side wing of the of the building of the project. So we want to delete them. That be able to get the concept right. Okay, click and delete. So you can light delete them. So that's how you work. Delete. You delete. So this one too, we are going to bring it to what leave it for now. Use the same thing here as well. Delete. Delete. So do not skip all this tutorial, they are very helpful and hopeful. So all you just need to do is to take your time, watch it and you get to know how beautiful the creation has been. So now you can go to elevation to go and check what you are doing. Like I said, just remove this from assisting. So from here now, you can go back to level seven or level eight. Too. Go to level seven. Do the same way you have deleted this. So I will not be delaying your time. Delete those ones. Delete everything. Delete all. So you don't need this delete. You can select everything at once by pressing uh, control of your keyboard. So that will be helpful. So when you go to your 3D, you will see that some parts are higher, some are lower. So this lower side, you want to create roof on there. And what we do do is create that roof from level 6. So what you need to do is to come to your property bar. At the floor level plan, go to underlay and select level five. So this one will be reflecting while you'll be able to continue with your design. So this roof we want to create has a different concept. So what you need to do is to concentrate your idea around this kind of roof you are creating so that it will be helpful unto you. So click on roof and say roof by footprints. The explanation of this is very unique, so you make your time and concentrate on what we are doing here. So click on this uh, rule by peak line. So if you click on peak lines, all what you need to do is to do only one side of this. What happened? Saying something that is not sounding well. Pick it again and select. Okay, so now you click and you do that. Leave this side for now. What you need to do is that you break these parts. Click on break. The kind of pattern of roof I want to do, so I want to pick it from this edge because I want something decent and unique. So let me pick it from this edge. As I do that, I will not mirror control on your keyboard by selecting these two lines. Then you pick on this mirror by axis. So this will give you, it will allow you to pick the center. And then when you are when you are seeing this broken line, it tells you that okay, this one is at what right angle triangle to what you are creating. So this one has done what I need them to do. So I need to select this and select this one. And click on say define slope. Click here and say 
define slope. The reason is define slope is that I want different pattern from this one. Why I use the same roofing uh, footprints? So I have gotten this right. So the next thing is that I will do to create slope arrow. Click on slope arrow. Start from that place that you have broken it. Look for the center line. Yes, this is center. Whenever you see that uh, triangle, it says that you are at the middle of the line. So you do the same thing here as well. Search for the center. Good. So you pick on slope arrow. Always start from the edge of breaking point to the center of the if you want to use slope arrow to define a gable or anything. So as you have done with this, what you need to do is to click on finish. So something is telling you that something is not joining together. It's not the problem, but the problem here is that you just need to do what? Alight it and meet them, let them meet at the point where they will be close loop. So finish it. Say don't attach. When you look at it from the sides, that is above, can you see the kind of roofing system we have been able to design? The reason is simple. You can decide to edit them and change the slope of this one or increase the height of this. Depends on how far. So this one is telling you that it's 3 meter in height, which I want it to be more than that. So I'm giving it 4,5, 4,500 in the height. So click here and say no. So it's more higher. Why this one? I'm going to define it by giving it like 2500 slope out. Sorry, I mean 25 degree. So I want it to be lower. So no attach. So if you look at it from elevation, if it's suitable, you continue. If it's not suitable, then you adjust it again. So I'm doing this for a purpose. So let me just adjust this back and lower the height to 3,005 so having done this this is one side you can check it on your 3d and see what you have created so that you make you you know what you are doing so go to other side I toggle that box side and see this is the roof you have created so you've not finished but this is how you the roof is going to be look like so whenever you are saying it in elevation it's going to be the beauty of the of the whole design out so the next thing we are doing is that we are creating the second roof which is on level six you can click on this and say create similar so it's the same thing we are doing so you click here and begin to work on on this click click and you click so I didn't look at what it said there maybe it's going to give me more edit when I'm doing this one but it doesn't matter so just let focus and see how far okay it's because it has double line place on it so do that i've seen the error so as i have done this the next thing is i want to create a gable aspect in this point too and how will i do that i'm going to delete this no what i'm going to do is i'm going to break this into three so by using this uh, split element so 7200 from this side you do the same thing here to 7000 search for it 200 so you have broken it like that so what you do is that you will now click on this center one and say click toggle of the define slope then click on define and slope arrow here and bring it to the middle the way you did it that place so do the same thing here bring it to the middle so this one you have already done it so as you do that you cannot click finish so this one will bring you what you need again so when you look at it from the elevation can you see the pattern of the roof you are having so i did it 
and say okay if this one is three thousand just increase this to something that is going to give you finishing line of touch so let's say two thousand say okay now you have something better to look into but i want it to be higher so i'm not going to use two thousand so i'm going to increase this one to four thousand because i want it to be higher than the main yeah so it's higher here but it's not coordinated so you can continue adjusting it depends on the way you are doing your work so three thousand i want it to be like three thousand five hundred and say finish good i think this one is okay with me it's balanced with me so let's just go to 3d and see what we have created go to the other side and toggle this whole space rotate so this is the roof you have created so the next thing is you want to create the roof for this upper space so what do you do go to your level cell at the level cell adjust all these walls kindly subscribe to this channel as you are watching if you are watching for the first time a lot of projects that will teach you the real architectural elements is what we are carrying out here so study everything one after the other whether you are a student of architecture you are a professional a lot of things for you to learn so you adjust this as well remember i still being staircase into most of these aspects so you do them in that manner to level 7 level 8 so when you go to your site good so everything has been divine you have arranged everything to where it's supposed to be so the next thing is this upper row to cover it up so how do you do that go to level 8 go to level 7 at the level 7 you click on roof you just want a flat roof for this not any no any paparazzi or no any so flat roof in this manner so what you do click on this and select everything around it so it depends on what you are doing and the way you want it to look and this is my own initiative at this moment the beauty of design is that there is no perfect design all what you just need are the tools to create for creativity is what we need to practice and perfect so you as a student you can decide to draw something more unique and fantastic than this so your creativity is today but the tools is what we are training and teaching ourselves here so define scale just click on define scale you don't want that and you say okay maybe at this one i want it to have on this scale but very little falling at least the slope of two degree it's okay so do not attach so at that point you take it to level eight so when you look at it from 3d so you see everything is being set so that's the little slope you give to it so when you look at it from the here you're having something unique from side are you seeing it so from west they are all looking unique and fantastic so the concept of the elevation has been brought out so the next thing to do is to fight tone and bring out the details in this development so how those things are going to touch one after the other but for now this is what we are able to do and achieve so if you want this to continue kindly subscribe to our channel follow us one after the other 
it's a super project that we are going to see from beginning to the end to the level of details so we have gotten the concept